Hello, this is Sarah Brash. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I want to do a quick video about how Yale and Yale Places the Mad Higgins are still, right now, to this day, waging a campaign, a global campaign, including online, to drive me to suicide and to destroy me and to insult my mother and to get my car to cover up their own gross malfeasance. This is not a joke. This is not hyperbole. I'm not making a maudlin or histrionic. This is real. This is actually happening to me. This is happening to me right now. And I have the proof. And I post it every day, including on Twitter. And so what happened recently is on December 27th, 2022, so just like a little over a week ago, Yale Police's Ramel Higgins, who was the Yale Police, Yale Campus Police Chief at the time of the Living or Not Being More Black hate crime hoax, he appeared on a podcast. The podcast is called The Hero Maker Podcast by Jennifer Morrison, the Vermont Commissioner for Public Safety, and Andrea Sh Shreeman, I believe, was it she Shreeman, Shreeman, and she is an LA-based uh, executive producer, director, etc., writer, and so he appeared on there. They have a podcast called the Hero Maker Podcast, in and he appeared on it on December twenty seventh, twenty twenty two, and he lied about me told the most disgusting lies about me, basic to, in, to get me killed. The only reason you say this about someone is to get them killed. He wants me dead so that he doesn't have to face accountability for his own gross malfeasance towards me and so that Yale, and in particular the Yale administration and the Yale campus police department don't have to face accountability for their gross malfeasance. He accused, he basically accused me of trying to, of an attempted lynching, of trying to murder, he accused me of trying to murder a black Yale student. He accused me of an attempted lynching of a black Yale student via the campus police at Yale. He accused me of that. He said that I weaponized the Yale campus police and he said that I that this black Yale student that I, he claimed that I knew who this person was, that I knew that they were a Yale student, and that I was purposely and purposely trying to get them killed by using the Yale campus police to get them killed. That is what he accused me of on this podcast. It is the most disgusting lie. He 100% knows that I am completely innocent. He also perjured himself before the Connecticut FOIA Commission in 2019. He knows he's lying about me. And he's lying about me and perpetrating the grossest defamation against me because he's trying to put my life in danger. He is putting my life in danger by accusing me. This is, this is woke KKK cancel culture. This is woke KKK cancel culture. This is trial by Twitter. This podcast was posted on Twitter the next day on December 28th, 2022. That's why uh, I discovered it. This is trial by Twitter. This is Will KKK cancel culture. This is Yale, Yale's Ronell Higgins, now the Associate VP for Public Safety and Community Engagement. He, on this podcast, he says he was called by God to continue his work against me. At, and this was at the time of the Yale police shooting of Stephanie Washington and Paul Witherspoon in April 2019. And that at that time, Yale, then Yale campus police chief Ronell Higgins worked with NBC News to blame me for that Yale police shooting of Stephanie Washington and Paul Witherspoon. I will have a lot more to say about this, but I wanna wrap this up. Have a good one.